is champion! Explore the town. Let's go ahead and put our weapon away for a second in case there's any friendlies here and we don't want to scare them any more than we normally would uh, by having the board with the buzzsaws attached to it. Hello? There's a sentry gun there. Uh, I think that's a good thing, dog meat. Sentry guns usually mean that there's some friendlies. Boy, there's a lot of sentry guns. These guys got this place on lockdown. <laughs> dog meat. All right, so this is clearly a friendly place. Welcome to Covenant. At least I hope it's a friendly place. Some kind of compound, but there's something just a little bit creepy about this. Barbed wire fence and sentry guns, which, hey, Dog meat, I don't really blame them from what we've seen of the hostile nature of this place. But then there's like some guy just chilling out out front. Let's investigate, Dog meat. Let's see what's going down. Hello, sir. I like your sign. He's just enjoying his morning coffee. You here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. Well, long people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. This is Covenant. Um, yeah. Is that what this place is called? Jesus. Yeah, we're a real up and comer. A pit stop on the road for traders and such. We're not that big, but we got the bargains. Got a dock that can patch you up. We even got some lemonade. Well, that's what Deezer calls it anyway. There's a small catch, though. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. <laughs> what? Um, okay, wait a second. <laughs> First of all, why would I need to take the safe test? I mean, clearly I'm not safe. That's, <laughs> that's number one. Uh, number two is, talking or what? yeah, we're going to talk, but God, you're creepy. You're as almost as creepy as I am with that weird leather jacket and that gunmetal gray hair. God, you're weird. Um... <sighs> safe interesting idea between you and me what's the test for you know what don't worry safe is one of them psychological tests just a bunch of questions you gotta answer <laughs> i don't you think i'm gonna pass it? this pass it and i'll let you in <laughs> dog feet i'm not gonna pass this uh, uh, <laughs> okay dog feet i'm gonna have to <laughs> no is Do this I really have to take the test? Yeah. The rules are rules. You ready? I, I dog meat. I I don't want to. Take a seat and we can begin. <laughs> this is dog meat. This is gonna go so badly. Oh, you know what, buddy? <laughs> I think I might be better off. I think I might be better off not taking the test. Cause if they ask me, dog meat. If they ask me, do you enjoy the taste of warm blood on your mouth? I, I'm going to have to answer yes, and the sentry guns might start shooting. So, <laughs> calm down, buddy. I'm not going to take a seat. Okay. All right, dog meat. We'll take the damn test. Uh, you son of a bitch. You're going to make me confront my own demons. I'm sure there aren't. I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your Jesus. response? Hell no! I've had enough of science. It made me this super mutant. Knock him out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I would I knock have him a out. Pipe and knock him out. A pipe, you say? Yes. A pipe. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate. Doctor stepped out for a while. What do you do? Uh, <laughs> I would I would get the hell out of there. I don't want the infection. Restrain and observe. Hell no. I don't know how to medicate him. I might amputate, but I I would just freaking scream. Next question. Well, you discover a really. young boy lost in the cave. But also appears to be possession of stolen property. What do you do? Well, I, I mean, I don't have anything against kids. Um, I don't know if I'd hug and comfort them. 
I don't. I wouldn't steal from them. I, I mean, I wouldn't turn them in either. I wouldn't do any of these things. This test. God, I want to. I want to get out of this test. All right, I'll hug and comfort him. God, if I hugged him, if I gave him a big hug, he'd be dead. What the hell? Baseball team? Uh, oh, well, this is an easy answer. Come on, the DH. Are certain about that? Never mind, next question. The grandmother invites you to tea. You're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? Why the hell would my... <laughs> uh, this is an easy one. <laughs> I'd ask for a minigun so I can do the job right. Please treat the question seriously. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> you bet your ass I am. You want to see my minigun? This is enough of these questions. But I wouldn't pick the damn lock. I'd probably just leave the bastard. Jesus. I'd procure a bomb so I could blow him and the room up. All right, I'd leave him. Walk away and let him run. Yeah. That's all you do. Nothing else. Wait, don't answer. That. Yeah. No, no. Come on. You've been exposed to radiation. <laughs> I got bad news for you, buddy. This has already happened. I'm sorry. I, uh, wait, what? If it grew out of my hand, it would be one more hand to hold a, a giant buzzsaw with, or a baseball bat, or a tire iron. It would be extra. I wouldn't do any of these things. <sighs> Listen, I didn't make much Are you sure? Because you seem really confident in them. Okay, I'd take some medicine, I guess. I wouldn't do that. Can I get out of here? The Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. I, I want to get out of here. Uh, slip of a Mickey? What the hell? Uh, okay. I would... I'd... Uh, it's Grognak. I mean, I love Grognak. I'd steal it. I'd, I'd mug him. I'd point He'd a gun in his face and take it from him. That's right. You're almost done. Last question. I'm safe. You decide it would be fun <laughs> to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking. Jesus. And... Uh, <sighs> uh. Sabotage toilet. I put okay. a firecracker in his toilet. <laughs> that never gets old. Yeah. Tests over. It's a real funny one. No one's ever answered quite like you. <laughs> I <laughs> bet not. You passed. No, I All didn't. I was a psychotic murderer in most of those questions. Okay, I. Uh, you know what? No, get get me out. Get me out of here. Okay, buddy. What kind of outfit you run in here? I most of those questions I answered that I would just slice him up. God, this is the doorway to doom. I don't even see any people in there. Okay, there's there's one person. Shop is usually the first stop. Okay. I can sense a trap here. This my my super mutant senses are tingling. Something ain't right. First of all, this old man, what has he got in that glass? Why is he wearing a black leather jacket? And why is he asking me these questions? Second of all, when I answer the question, yeah, well, you know, I just I would murder my grandmother without a second hesitation with a nuclear explosive. And he's like, "Interesting. Yes, you've passed the safe test." That ain't right. You keep and you keep being really, really like, uh, hey, just come get and sit in. in this chair. Go Maybe on in. You stop. won't ever escape or come out. Just go on in and take a take a quick nap while we take all your guns, strip you down naked, and sodomize you. Okay, I'm. I don't want want to go in here. I sense that something really bad is in here, but I can kind of handle myself too. If something bad goes down. That's right. You're first to go, Gramps. All right, here we go. Watch these doors close right behind me. Of course. Of course. Okay, listen. Nobody come near me. I know what you people are about. And I, I've got a board. And I'm not afraid to use it. Nobody? No takers? All right. 
Maybe you are friendly. Okay, let's uh. Wait, is this the guy that I was buying stuff from? No, it's Honest Dan. It's good old Honest Dan. I don't for a second believe he's honest, or Dan. All right, Lady uh, Talia McGovern. That ain't your last name. Okay, ma'am. I heard about you. You're the stranger. I make things. What the hell? Things for the store. Oh, I'm Talia. It's so nice to meet you. I kind of don't. Yeah. Uh, hey. hey. You're gonna like it here. Everyone in Covenant is so friendly and really wants to help. Yeah, I bet. Everyone's so friendly. Uh, yeah. I I hope I like I it. You'll like it. You'll see. Feel free to use my tools. And if you need any. Is this Mama Murphy's daughter? God, she's kind of twitchy. Look at her. Look, is she giving me the side eye there? What the hell? Something. It's. Th this is all wrong. This is all wrong. Something's not right. <sighs> okay. Honest Dan, you're next. From around here? God, I hope not. Not enough of these hicks. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, good job. Yeah. You have a problem with the people here? All the fake smiles and the fancy talking puts me on edge. Me too. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. Honest you Dan? Stockton's caravan? No, no, what's up? I like this guy. I like Honest Dan. He actually is the only honest one here. Uh, no, what's up? A caravan? What are you talking about? I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Yeah, something's not right. For you. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. Hey, no problem. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. Uh, yeah. I accept the deal, Sounds then. That's fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Yeah. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. All right. Yeah, human error. There's something <laughs> there's something dark here. Something really dark here, Dan. Watch your back. All right, Dan. Stay cool. I'll watch mine. And Dan, if it, we, we have a chance we'll watch each other's, okay? I'm going to read these orders and we'll see what's going on. Right, let's see this uh what you piece together. Let's take a look. Okay. Where is it? Caravan details. Amelia Stockton, daughter. Fred O'Connell, caravan leader. J. Mayfield, security. Two mercs, names unknown, hired by J. Mayfield. Hmm. I'm not sure that that tells me anything. But, uh... Okay. We'll try to we'll try to piece something together here. Talk to these creepers. All right, let's leave those people alone. Uh, let's go. What's going on in here? Keep an eye out, Dan. Dan, if I don't come out in five minutes, five to ten minutes, call the president. Enjoy Hi. Your stay. Jesus. Hi. Enjoy your stay. You said that already. Enjoy your stay. 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 Doug meet something your something's about covenant. We can always use extra business. Hey. Huh? Okay. Hello, Doug meet. You got anything that ails you? I'll fix you up for a fee. I oh boy, I don't want you coming near me. First of all, nothing's wrong. I mean, nothing obvious. But uh Okay. What's new, Doc? If you want rumors, then Penny's the girl for you. I like to stick to fixing people. Mm, fixing people. Right. Uh-huh. What do you got I for trade? Supplies, doctor. Let's see what I can spare. All right. Um listen, Doc, I don't trust you for a second. 
But if you would be willing to buy some of this uh, crap that I'm carrying around, well, I'm not opposed to that. All right, Doc. Wipe that smile off your face. Okay. God, look at she, she just seems creepy. So creepy. Maybe the robot knows something. All right. Yeah, people fail the test for all sorts of reasons. Yeah. Well, wait a second. I I failed it for all these reasons.